And then we have some projects here just to sort of finish off to give you some ideas and things to look at. Uh, open foundation, one with peel and stick and dimple board included. Some more, and then the finished one, I tell people on the bottom right that you can tell, the only way you can tell that's an actual ICF building is the fact that when you slam the front door, nothing in the house shakes. And we got gable ends here. One of the things with the gable ends, we used to spend a lot of time and form on both sides and then have plywood ready. So you'd vibrate, you put the concrete in, you'd vibrate, you'd slap a piece of plywood in there and move on up. And the photo on the left, it shows we learned that we could use the webs as little dams. We'd vibrate the wall, we'd add a little extra concrete to the very top, let it sit for about an hour, and then go back in and screed that off. And it probably saved us four or five hours with two men framing that up to get it ready. And we go back to commercial projects such as our beloved Tim Hortons, some commercial strip malls, very big projects go up relatively quickly using the forming system. Here's some multi and low, uh, unit low rise townhouse type systems. Multi unit high rise such as uh, uh, student residence, very common. They've been using ICF. Here's agricultural, this one happens to be a potato barn. And what they liked about this was it gives them full, full climate control inside of that that building, which helps minimize the rot of their product. Hospitality industry, the hotel industry. And thank you. This is Marty again. We're going to open this up to some questions. And always know that the AMVIC team is here to help you.